Alrighty, boys and girls. Seems like an eternity since we learned anything new. This year we've learned what an integer is. We learned how to add them, subtract them, multiply, divide them. That's five things we learned. We learned, and that should have been reviewed from last year. We learned about negative exponents. Remember, 10 to the negative 3 power is the same as 1 over 1,000, right? Three zeros. Just learning how to write numbers different ways. Scientific notation, taking a great big long number like 18 billion and writing it 1.8 times 10 to the seventh power, right? That's how we change things to uh, scientific notation. Um, or the other way, um, from standard form to, from scientific notation to standard form. Now we're going to do the same, more of the same, writing numbers a different way. They call them rational numbers. Why? I don't know. To confuse a seventh grader? To make my life miserable? Um, we're dealing with fractions, decimals, and percents. Something that you all know something about. Fractions, right? You know what a half is. If your mom or dad or grandma or uh, parent or guardian, whatever, bakes you a chocolate pie and you're hungry as heck like me and you sit down and eat half of it, you know what a half is. You can write a half, right, as a fraction. One over two. That is one half. I ate one half of that chocolate pie, right? <clears throat> or, I like to deal with money more than pies. Let's deal with money. Let's say I, I said, um, uh, you, I gave you a dollar and you went to uh, Walmart and, and I told you to give me a pack of big red gum. And you came back, I said, how much was it? You said half a dollar. So that's how you write a half as a fraction. But how would you write half a dollar as, as in money? What is half a dollar, right? What is half a dollar? Um, well, I know there's four quarters in a dollar, right? So half of four quarters would be two quarters. So two quarters is 50 cents. Half a dollar is 50 cents. We all know this, right? So if I wrote that as a decimal, that is 0 0.50. So that means one half is the same as 0 0.50. It's the same number written a different way. And I don't have a ca calculator in front of me. You all can grab one if you want to now. Pause it, grab one, and come back. Because we're, we're going to use calculators here. <coughs> but that, no, that line right there means divide. If you put one in your calculator and divide by two, guess what you get? You get 0.5. It doesn't put the zero in. But it doesn't matter. We could put the zeros here for eternity, right? Doesn't matter. They don't. Add, they don't mean anything, right? That's the same number. That's the same number. That's 0 0.5. That's half a half of something, right? But when we think of money, we put 0.5 up, right? So I'll just leave a zero there, just for the heck of it. Now, think about this. We just had a quiz yesterday. I think it was only seven questions, so you can't get half of them right because half of seven is three and a half. You can't get half a question. You either get it right or wrong. But let's say there was ten questions on one of my quizzes, right? And you got half of them right. How many would it be right if you was ten questions and you got half of them? You got five out of ten, right? Five out of ten. Well, half of them, and then what would I put in my grade book if you got half of them right? Unfortunately, you got a 50%. Guys, seventh grade is the last time we are writing numbers. The same number, one half as a decimal is 0.50. And you do that by doing one divided by two. 0.50 as a percent is 50%. How do we go from a decimal to a percent? We times it by 100, or just move the decimal two places to the right. Remember, percent is always out of 100. You could have got 100 on my quiz, but you only got a 50, right? You only got a 50. So that's why percent is always out of 100. All right, let's do another number. Let's say, let's say, um, let's do another common one. Let's do a quarter, right? Let's do a quarter. 25 cents. Right? 25 cents. One quarter. One quarter. 
So who remembers, let's see if we remember, how are we going to do, turn that into a fraction or a decimal? Right? How are we going to turn that into a fraction or a decimal? Well, I would rather turn it into a percent first. Because percent, you just move the decimal two places to the right to go from a decimal to a percent. And that would be 25%. Right? That would be 25%. So think about money. If we had 100% of a dollar, we would have four quarters, right? But we only got one quarter. We got one out of four. And remember, if you're not sure, these are the common ones. You should know these in your head because we all deal with money every day. All right? 25%, remember, percent is always out of 100, is 25 out of 100. That's that one quarter out of a dollar bill. One quarter out of a dollar bill. All right? So, we're, again, if you take your calculator and do 25 divided by 100, you get one divided, you get one fourth. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's do another one. Let's do something like uh, two thirds. <coughs> Let's start here at two-thirds. All right, this is a tricky one. I want to change two-thirds to a decimal. Hopefully you're you shouting out, Mr. Bowers, all you got to do is get your calculator and do two divided by three. All right, I did that. I get point six, 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 six. And then it might go to seven at the end, but it's rounding up. But it's, what's that called when it just keeps going the same number? Blah, 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 blah. It's repeating, right? That's a repeating decimal. So this is 0.66, and we put a bar over that. I'm sure you all have seen that before. To donate, that, to dictate that we've been we repeating, okay? Easy part. How do we change a decimal to a percent? If you got your calculator and you got 0.66 in there, you just hit times 100. And you're going to get... 66.6, doesn't matter if you write that, you can just do the 66 with the bar over it, but make sure you put a percent on the end. I mean 66, I think it'd rather you need to write it like that, 66.6% .6 repeating, yep, repeating. Fractions to decimals to percents. Alright, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's start with the percent here. Can you see this? If I go one more lower, hmm, that's going to be kind of low for you guys. Let me scoosh this down a little bit. Hmm, technical difficulties, but I think you can see down there now. Yeah, you can see down there a little bit better. Hopefully. All right, I'll write it up here a little further. <clears throat> Let's start here with 75%. This is going to be a common one you will know, right? <clears throat> if I start with the percent, right? What if you got 75% on one of my tests or quizzes? What's that mean? 75%. That means that you got 75 out of 100. Percent is always out of 100. So this is the same as 75 out of 100, right? So what's that line mean to do? It means divide, right? If you pick up that calculator, now's when you can use it, right? 75 divided by 100 turns into point seven. Five. Point seven five. Yeah, 0.75. 75 hundredths, right? Now, we got to be able to reduce. Here's what we didn't do here. We didn't reduce, right? You know what reduce means? What is the biggest number that goes into 25 and 100? Well, 25 goes into 25 one time, and it goes into 100 four times. That's how we got our one-fourth. This one, 25 goes into both of those. 25 goes in here three times, it goes in here four times. So the answer 
is three fourths fractions, decimals, percents, rational numbers. All right. All we're doing is learning how to write numbers different ways. All right. So um, we're this is a just getting our feet wet in here. I'll probably come back. Um, Monday with another video on this to learn instructional video and then start practicing. All right. So guys, we're wrapping up another week. Remember, Fridays are chill days unless you owe me stuff. Be looking for emails and then we'll Zoom meet. Okay. And uh, and um, talk about how I can help you get 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 caught up or get your get your grade up or or just just uh, work things out. All right. Good talking to you. Uh, peace out. Another week down.